lifetime budget versus daily budget for Facebook ads. Which one's gonna be the best? Now, there's only one real reason why anybody uses lifetime budget, and that is because they want to use the scheduling feature that allows you to set up your ads to run within a certain amount of time each day. That's typically not the best thing, so I'm gonna cover the differences between both here, and I'm gonna show you how to set up that feature using daily budgets. If you're new here, my name is Armando and I work with local companies helping them use the internet to generate more leads. If that's something that you're interested in, subscribe so that you don't miss any of the other training videos. So let me first talk about lifetime budget. For 95% of all the campaigns that we set up for our clients and what we recommend for people, we are using daily budgets. Now, lifetime budget, like I mentioned earlier, is a feature that a lot of people use specifically because of this reason here. If you notice what I'm highlighting here under budgeting and schedule, there are two options, lifetime and daily. Now, people use lifetime budget predominantly because they have an option to run ads on a schedule. And this allows you to actually set up a time of day that you want your ads to run and to start. So a lot of small business owners use this feature because they want those leads to come in between operating hours. So if you're running a business and your operating hours are from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., then you typically want to highlight the hours um, that you want those ads to run. Now, anything outside of this schedule pauses that campaign, stops it, and then it picks back up again the very next day during those business hours. Now, businesses typically do this because of lead handling. They want somebody to be able to respond to those leads um, as soon as they come in and not have leads come in at a uh, crazy time of night. Now, this is not my favorite campaign to use. Now, I typically do not like lifetime budget campaigns, and there are a few reasons why. Number one, they're very restrictive. If you've been running Facebook ads for a while, you know that Facebook is a data-hungry machine, and the more data you feed it, the better your ads perform over time. And what lifetime budget does, it affects ad deliverability, meaning that every time you pause and stop these campaigns, you kind of pause the momentum that they're having. And then they pick back up the very next day and then the cycle continues again. This allows for your campaigns to perform very poorly over time, at least in our experience it does. The next thing that I don't like about this is that if you have a campaign that's actually performing really well, typically you wanna let those ads ride as long as you can so that you can maximize your return on investment. And when you have a lifetime budget, the ads just typically end during that uh, set period of time that you've defined. So if I have a campaign where I'm spending $100 a day and by day number five, this campaign is, is starting to rock and roll and I set that ad to end on day six, well guess what? it's going to end and if i make a significant change to that campaign um, then i start the learning phase back up again and it ends up hurting me in the long run and it's for these reasons that we very rarely use lifetime budget now um, i'm going to show you how to actually replicate this uh, ad scheduling with a daily budget and then i'm also going to show you at the end of the video the absolute best thing to do for lead handling so that you don't have to worry about setting schedules at all and having lead handling happen for you and your company company 24 hours a day seven days a week I'm going to change from lifetime budget to daily budget now notice what happens here uh, under ad scheduling I no longer have the option to set a schedule uh, for my ads to run within a certain you know period of time and this is why uh, people use daily you know lifetime budget so I'm going to show you how to create this so this is a daily budget campaign and basically what you're going to want to do is create rules that start the ads and pause the ads after a certain amount of time. So if I am here at the ad set level, I'm gonna click on rules and I'm going to create a new rule. And we're gonna have some options in here. And what you wanna do is click on create custom rule and then choose next. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to tell Facebook, um, we want to turn on specific ad sets or specific campaigns. Now. You can do this at the ad set level or you can do this at the campaign level, okay? Be very careful with what you choose because what you choose in this rule can apply for all your campaigns or all your ad sets and will apply to those as well. So what does that mean? That means that if you've got an ad account that you've ran ads for the past 20 years and you've got campaigns in there that are stopped and paused and all of a sudden you create a rule at the campaign level that tells the system start all these campaigns up at 6 a.m. Everything that's inside of your ad account will automatically start on 
and you're going to start burning budget even for campaigns that you may have had in there for years and years um, you know years and years prior so what I'm gonna do here and I'm gonna say turn everything on basically and in the condition rule I'm not going to choose any condition I'm just gonna say turn on ads it and I'm just gonna label this turn on ads at 6 a.m. and now what we're saying is hey Facebook turn on ads on this one ad set okay anything that's paused inside of this ad set I want you to turn it on and I want you to turn it on at a specific amount or a specific time of day and for that we're gonna go to schedule and I'm gonna click on custom and then from here on let's say that I want my ads to come on Monday through Friday okay and I want each of those ads to come on at um, you know 6 a.m. which is my time I'm just gonna select 6 a.m. and I'm gonna continue down this line and choose 6 a.m. now in this example I have ads not running on the weekend so Monday through Friday 6 a.m. and then I'm gonna continue this on and I'm gonna click on uh, create campaign and it's gonna create an ad rule and so what happens is that every time an ad is paused or off it's going to start kicking that ad on at 6 a.m. the very next day now we need to repeat this exact same process and create an off rule so that the ads can come off at whatever specific time that we want them to so here's what we're going to do again click on rules create new rule custom rule choose next and this time we're going to remove condition because we don't want condition and we're going to say turn ads off at 8 p.m. so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say all active ads I want you to turn them off okay I'm gonna turn them off and then I'm gonna to go to custom and then you're gonna choose when you want those ads to be off so if you want those ads to turn off or to pause then all you need to do is come down here and select the time of day that you want these ads to pause and what you want to do here after that is click on create now what did you just do you just created an ad schedule exactly the way it's set up inside of the lifetime budget campaigns but on a daily budget basically when 6 a.m. rolls around or whatever time you you chose um, Facebook's gonna go out and look for all those campaigns that are paused and it's gonna turn them on when 8 o'clock hits it's gonna go and execute that rule and turn all those campaigns off or pause them at 8 o'clock and it's going to repeat the exact same process Monday through Friday okay now again be very careful with this rule because whatever rule you set in here can apply at the campaign level if you do not set them up properly and it will apply to all your campaigns okay I, it's, it's important to know that I am not a big fan of doing this right here I think it is um, it's not the best way to do things and there's a much better way for lead handling that can max maximize not only your return on investment but how you close more business from Facebook and and that is by setting up automations that can handle these leads 24 hours a day without your interaction I'm gonna show you how this works here okay so let's say that you have this campaign set up and you're a local service business and typically operates between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. anything outside of those hours it's really difficult for you to respond to leads but the typical behavior of people is to submit information and to ask for you know things outside of those hours because that's when their downtime is I'm gonna show you what we use instead of using some crazy rule that we may forget um, and it's not as effective so what I'm about to show you are the automations that we set up for all of our clients when we're running ads and hopefully you can kind of set up your, them yourself what you're seeing here is a tool that we use to help us create these automations and to manage all of our leads and pipeline so that we know what's happening exactly at every step of the process now there are links in the description of this video when you go through that link uh, you get this automation imported for free since we're giving it away so here's how this works basically this tool connects to Facebook and it allows us to basically tie the ads to the system so that we can import all those leads in one centralized location and what you're looking at here is a workflow now a workflow is like a series of dominoes lined up in a row when the first domino falls everything else after that domino has an effect things happen and start to fire away um, when that first domino hits and basically what we're doing here is we're telling the system hey anytime that I've got a specific ad 
or a specific campaign or a set of ads or set of campaigns, um, I want anybody who inquires about my services, either through a form fill, through messenger, or through a lead form, I want all these things to happen. So it doesn't matter what time of day it is. It could be eight o'clock at night. It could be, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. It could be midnight, okay? Somebody submits information on your Facebook ad. Basically, they become a lead. Now, the system tags them and says, hey, this is a lead for whatever service you've got. It immediately creates an opportunity and puts the contact details, phone number, and any other information you're collecting from that lead into a section so that you have it to look at and be able to reach out to those people. It then sends you or your team an instant email notification, and it also sends you or your team an instant text message with all the lead details um, that were submitted. Now, you can tailor this, this uh, email and this SMS to only fire within business hours. Or to fire after business hours, you can say, hey, somebody requested information, it's 12 o'clock at night, and get back to them in the morning. Or you can fire it in the morning. At the same time, the lead, because they're submitting that information, doesn't matter what time of day it is, they get an instant email acknowledging that they that you receive that information. And if it's after hours, we'll tell them, hey, it's after hours, we'll reach out back to you in the morning. Or it's after hours, here's our calendar, here's our scheduling software, here is our link where you can go and book a callback or book a service agreement time or whatever you want. The same at the same time they get a text message letting them know that you receive their information and that it's after hours or if it's during business hours your staff gets notified to call them right away if it's after hours they get pushed to some sort of calendar or booking mechanism so they can self schedule at their convenience right we wait for them to reply and if the lead does not reply then they go into this follow up bucket where the system automatically starts to follow up with them one day after we leave a voicemail, send another series of texts, maybe send another email, send a follow-up text the day after that, and then more follow-up texts and maybe another call until they either say yes or no. If they say no, we say thank you, no worries, we move on. If they say yes, they're immediately asked for, yeah, hey, great, you know, here's the next thing that you need to do. Either a representative is going to call you or here's a quote or here's how we're going to handle that. Now, this is happening 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's no chance of you losing a lead because it's after business hours or because it's on the weekend. They still get the attention that they need and they still get uh, contacted to a certain point up until somebody can, you know, sell them or put them through the sales process within your organization. Now, like I mentioned before, this exact workflow is linked below. Um, if, if you want to try this out, you can. The moment you click that link and you go through the trial period, this will import into your account and you just come in here and change a few things and it's ready to rock and roll. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions at all, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can.